Hi there, today I'm going to give you five good reasons not to tamper with the EGR of your vehicle. Now this is a 3 litre common rail diesel uh, Nissan patrol engine and the EGR is located just here. So what is the purpose of an EGR? An EGR recirculates some of the exhaust gases back into the air intake and by doing so it actually lowers the combustion temperature in the cylinders. By lowering the combustion temperature in each cylinder less harmful pollutants like NOx are produced. However with lower combustion temperatures more particulate matter is produced and that's why newer vehicles are equipped with a particulate matter filter. Now you might be thinking how can hot exhaust gas lower the combustion temperature of the engine and it does this by first passing through this EGR cooler which cools that exhaust gas right down. And that cooled exhaust gas, which hardly has any oxygen, is then fed back into the air intake. And therefore, because there is less fresh oxygen fed into the engine, the combustion process is less than ideal, and therefore the combustion temperature is actually lower. Now the EGR system also has a butterfly valve, and that controls the amount of exhaust gas that is let into the engine and that's done so based on engine temperature, engine load, and engine speed. So that's how an EGR system works. Now EGR systems can get blocked over time, but with good engine maintenance, that should be prevented. Now people like to block their EGR systems or delete them altogether, thinking that will give them more engine power, better fuel efficiency, and better engine longevity. Two of the most common ways EGRs can be tampered with is for a blanking plate to be inserted in there, physically blocking the amount of exhaust gases that can go into the air intake. Another way is to physically unplug the EGR valve and put a little patch harness which tricks the ECM into thinking there is an EGR valve there. But today I'm going to give you five good reasons why you should not touch or tamper with the EGR system of your vehicle. Reason number one, tampering with the EGR system will void your new car warranty. Reason number two, tampering with your EGR is highly illegal. Reason number three, blocking the EGR will result in less engine power. This is because there is a sensor connected to the EGR itself. The ECM or the electronic control module of the engine needs signal from the EGR. If it detects that it's not there or it's been blocked, it will limit the amount of fuel that goes into the engine. And by doing so, it will reduce the amount of power the engine produces. And this can cause issues with the ECM, pulling up fault codes and engine lights like the one shown. Reason number four, blocking the EGR will cause EGTs or exhaust gas temperatures to rise in the combustion process. And this is not ideal because when this engine has been designed, it's been designed with the EGR system in mind and with those combustion temperatures in mind. If you suddenly raise those combustion temperatures, you'll actually reduce the longevity of your engine. Reason number five, blocking or deleting the EGR system allows more harmful pollutants to enter into the environment and that is bad for us and that is bad for the environment. So I hope I've convinced you not to tamper with the EGR system of your vehicle. Don't believe everything you read online, it's not all good news. It's there for a reason and it's there for your benefit. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Thanks for watching.